So in this video, we're going to talk about plotting irrational number on a number line. So for example, we have this number. So this is the square root of 5. And um, square, root, square root means uh, looking for a number. If you square it or multiply it by itself, you will get the number inside that radical symbol. Like for example, square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2 because 2 squared is 4 or 2 times 2 is 4. Well, for this, square root of 5, we cannot find, we cannot just simply find a number. If you multiply it by itself, you will get 5. So, uh, this is what you call an irrational number. So, irrational numbers are uh, numbers which you cannot write it in decimal um, or in fraction. I mean, decimal that is uh, non-repeating, or it can be, um, I mean, it's uh, terminating, meaning there is an end of a number. And it might be unending, but it's repeating. So you call it um, repeating, but uh, although non-terminating. So like for example, this square root of five. So we have 2.236. If you put it in the calculator, this is the exact uh, value. So there's no ending of this number. As you can see, there is three dots here. It means it will continue infinitely. So there's no end and it's not repeating any number that is, uh, there's not no number that is being um, repeated that it will go infinitely. So it's just simply like a random number uh, that will continue. Unlike, like for example, one third, one third is uh, never ending, but it is 0 0.33. So it's a repeated, repeated number three. And so basically we cannot um, plot this in, in a number line if you want to get the exact because this is, as I said, it's an infinite number. But we can actually uh, approximate it or just estimate where it uh, it is located. And that's what I'm going to teach you. So going to the number line, so this is the number line. So of course we don't include the negative sign since um, uh, we will not... Uh, uh, have that those squared with have, having an answer of a negative so you will just go to the positive numbers so square root of five but well, although you have seen the exact value if you use calculator but what if you will not be using a calculator so how are we going to plot it in the in the number line so the best thing to do first is to put the equivalent um, square roots of these numbers on the number line so if you put the square root of 0 up to 9, that's 0 is square root of 0, 1 is square root of 1, 2 is a square root of 4 because 2 times 2 is 4, 3 is square root of 9, by the way I'm looking at this, because uh, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 is a square root of 16 because six, 4 times 4 is 16, and so on. Up to 9, it's a square root of 81 because 9 times 9 is 81, and square root of 81 is 9. So it's easier for you to plot if you put these numbers. Now, square root of 5. So square root of 5 is uh, right in between square root of 4 and 9. So we know that the this square root of 5 should be plotted here in between 2 and 3. But you cannot, just, you, you cannot get the exact location of that, but at least you can estimate the, whether it's close to 2 or 3. So just look at the number. It's 4 and 9. So where is 5? closer. 5 is closer to 4, so you're going to put the point here closer to 2. So so that's where square root of 5 is. So even if you don't know the exact without, because you don't use calculator, you can you can plot it in the number line. Just an estimate. As I said, it's just an estimation or we call it approximation because there's no exact value for an irrational number. It's a never-ending number and it's not repeated. Because if it's repeated number, and even if it's never ending, it can be written in fraction. So as long as it can be written in fraction, then that it's not anymore an irrational number. That's what you call rational numbers. Let's have another one. We have square root of 2. The square root of 2 is in between square root of 1 and square root of 4. Because it's 1 and 4. So where is it closer? It's closer to 1. So we're going to put the point here. Since square root of 2 is closer to square root of 1. So you don't need to know what's the exact value. Just look at the numbers here inside the radical symbol and where this number is closer. If it's exactly in the middle of 1 and 4, let's say of uh, 2.5, square root of 2.5, for example, so you're going to put it here, exactly in, in between. 
and square root of 20 so where square root of 20 is it's in between the 4 and 5 because it's with in between square root of 16 and square root of 25. Now observe that it's uh, right in between 16 and 25 or even square root of 21 so it's or square root of 19 so it's around in between 16 and 25 it's not exactly close to 16 or close to 25. So you can just estimate that the point is in right in between 4 and 5. And another one squared of 77. So where is it? It's close. It's in between 64 and 81. And observe that um, 77 is much closer to 81 than 64. It's way far from 64. And it's closer to 81. So we're going to put it here a little closer to 9. So that's square root of 77. And then square root of 33. So it's around in between square root of 25 and square root of 36. And again, it is uh, way closer to 36 than in than 25. So we're going to put it here closer to 6. So we'll just estimate it. Of course, we cannot just we cannot get the exact um, location of these irrational numbers. And that's it. That's the last uh, example. So I hope you have learned something from this video, and please subscribe to my channel.